In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the SIM failure error message on your iPhone. Now what happened with me is I dropped my iPhone and then I saw this SIM failure message. But luckily, there are a couple of things we can do to go and fix this. So the very first step is just to go and open up the settings on your phone. And the first thing is to try turning on aeroplane mode for around about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds have passed, you can then go and disable aeroplane mode. And sometimes just doing that alone can go and solve the issue. Now, if that's not working, then just scroll down to general and click on this. You can then scroll down to VPN and device management and click on this. Now just make sure you're not connected to any VPNs. You can see at the top here my phone says not connected. This can actually sometimes cause the no sim error and once you've done this you can go and check to see if it solves the issue. If it's still not working it's likely an issue with the actual physical sim card. So if you have a sim card in your phone rather than an eSIM then what you'll need to try doing is coming over to the side of the phone and you'll see this small hole here that we can go and press and this is going to release the sim card holder so you can either use the official pin sim card remover or you can just go and stick something quite sharp and small down the middle of here once you've released the sim card holder just go and release your sim card and try it cleaning the physical sim so you can just get a cloth make sure there's no dust or debris stuck around the sim card once you've gave it a quick wipe down you can put it back in the holder you can try placing it back inside of your phone and once you've done that you can check to see if that solves the issue now if it's still not working another thing we can do is go and load up the settings on your phone you're then going to scroll down and click on general scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on transfer or reset iphone you can then click on reset and press reset network settings you'll then need to go and enter the passcode to your iphone now don't worry this won't delete any of your personal data but you may need to go and reconnect to your different wi-fi connections now once you've done this once again you can check to see if it solves the issue now if you have tried all of the steps so far and you're still getting the no signal message then what we need to do is power cycle the device so to do that you can tap the volume up button tap the volume down button and then you hold the lock screen button on the right hand side of your phone so I'll do this with you now so you can see exactly what this looks like so we're going to quickly tap the volume up tap the volume down and then you need to hold down this lock screen button on the right hand side now it's going to say slide to power off we're just going to ignore this and keep holding that lock screen button down you'll need to hold it down for around about 20 seconds seconds and eventually the iPhone will shut off even when the screen's black just continue to hold that button down and eventually after about 10 seconds you should see the Apple logo appear as soon as you see the Apple logo you can go and release that lock screen button you can now try turning on your iPhone and that should have fixed the no sim error if it's still not working another thing we can try doing is converting our physical sim card into an eSIM now it's really easy to do just go and load up the settings on your phone you can then scroll down and click on mobile service scroll down to your sim card and go and click on it from the list you can then scroll down to the bottom and click on convert to eSIM so once you've gone through all of the steps you should be able to convert your physical sim card into an eSIM and that's another way to go and solve this issue now if you have tried everything and it's still not working the final solution is just to go and order a replacement sim card there's likely some physical damage to the sim card and it would need replacing so you'll just need to reach out to your mobile network provider and they should be able to send to you a replacement sim card within a couple of days so that's it guys let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful